I'm going to talk about the basics of magnetic oxide field emitting transistors, aka MOSFETs. And then um, how I'm going to use those to make basic logic gates. So we're going to start with the uh, inverter using the P channel. which basically looks like this on a diagram. Dot. And uh, the N channel. Which is, looks almost exactly the same as the P channel. And so this is basically... This is going to be um, basically your voltage going in. And this is going to be um, this coming out if this is if um, the logic is on and so your deciding factor is going to be these lines the horizontal ones and so I'm going to basically describe how to make sense of these so let's try to use the N channel first this is the most straightforward logic so suppose we have a 5 volt input here as well and let's say this is our output line. And we label this A, for instance. So, for example, if A is 1, then since this is 1, 5 volts will be passed through to the output, so therefore our output is 1, or 5 volts, which is basically logic on. But if A is 0, then it will not close the connection and therefore the output will be some state that we don't know. We think it's zero, but we don't know for a fact. So, I'll move on to the P channel, and then I'll discuss th why these two have to go together to make logic gates. So for the P channel, it's basically the opposite of the N channel, whereas if, and I'm going to pick this B just to be different, so if B is one, then the connection will be open instead of closed. Think um, of this as an inverter, like this is the schematic diagram for an inverter. And um, the dot is act the actual inverter because in other circuits you'll probably see these as yes gates. And the dot is to make it actually inverted. So make pretend the dot is the uh, will invert the logic. So once again, when B is 1, the output line here will be some unknown state, but if B is 0, the connection will be closed and it will be definitely 5 volts. So now I'll discuss how to make a basic inverter using both of these, and I'll tell you why you have to use both of these. So to make the inverter, using only one N channel and one P channel we'll place them vertically and then these will be A the same input or you can just tie them together and also make those A as well so you can just cross that off, cross that off, make that just bust together and also you're going to want to daisy chain these so we'll start with the 5 volts here and then we'll have our output line here connect these two together and this will be our ground <coughs> and so I'll prove to you that this actually in fact works as a basic inverter and in how your most fundamental inverter logic gate is so for instance when A is 1, um, it will go to the P channel here and the N channel here as well, but we will first analyze this. So when the 1 goes here, the, the uh, circuit will be open, 5 volts will not be here. However, the 1 will go to the N channel, close the circuit, and will definitely make this ground as opposed to some unknown state, and this is why we use both of these together is because we want this output line 
to be a definite zero volts or five volts. We don't want some made a stable state that we don't know what the output's gonna be. We want a definite definite output. And so let's now try when this is zero. So the zero will go to the P channel MOSFET. The circuit will be closed. Therefore, 5 volts will be our output. And now as far as the uh, N channel, this will leave the connection to ground open, so therefore no connection to ground will be made. Therefore, our output is definitely 1, as expected. Next time, I will talk about how to make NAND gates, NOR gates, and also combining the use of NAND gates with an inverter to make an AND gate.